Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of me trying to transform this room into my dream bedroom. Just a little backstory, my parents are selling this house and obviously to sell a house you need to dress it. This room I'm currently in was my brother's old bedroom and has been for the past probably 12 years. Um, this room has never been decorated before, it still has the carpets that we bought this house in and we lived here for about 16 years. So it's never been decorated. A few months ago it did get painted when we were putting the house on the market but um, it's just really bare and it doesn't look very nice. So my brother has moved out a few times and when he moved out this room became the music room and like my study room through A levels and GCSEs and stuff. And then he moved back in and obviously lived here and it became his room and then recently he moved out about six months ago it has just been the music room so basically my mum said because the room is just because the room basically is as you can see it's just empty it doesn't really have a life like it doesn't have not a life like it has no life like you walk in here and it's just not a nice room like it just, it's not to the potential it could be and like it could look really really nice and it just doesn't at the minute so when we move out of this house i will get a new room i will get a room in the new house because i haven't officially moved out yet i'm at uni so i'll still be coming back so my mum basically said why don't you decorate this room that we're in right now as if it was your new room in the new house so she said like you can get new furniture you can paint the walls you can get a new carpet and we'll just act like this is your room in the new house. So of, so we're not gonna be wasting money because the paint was quite cheap and we're gonna get a cheap carpet anyway to put in here. But everything else I will be taking to the new house with us. So that is basically what is happening with this room and why this room is getting decorated. I do have a room in this house, which I've lived in the majority of the time I've lived in this house. And I did decorate it probably five years ago, but it was in, oof, thinking about it now, it's like grey and white and it was that, you know that phase that everyone went through where everyone loved grey and like, it's that phase and I don't like that room <laughs> now, I can't lie. So I think once I decorate this room, I probably will live in it. Like when I'm back at home, I probably will move into this room. And my room right now will probably just become a dressed room again because that's all decorated and it doesn't really need anything done to it. It just needs a few decorations to make it look like someone lives there. But that's literally it. So our house is basically kind of split into two. So we've got one side, which is my mum and dad's side, and the other side, which has been like mine and my brother's side, basically the whole of our time we've lived here. So our side needs a lot of work done to it just because it's it, it's not very well decorated. So there's one room, which is the dressing room. Then there's my room, then there's this room. So everything's gonna get jumbled about a bit. Like the dressing room is gonna become an office and all the furniture in the dressing room is gonna go into my room. And then some of the furniture in my room is gonna come into this room and then we're gonna get a new bed in this room and it's just stuff like that. So it does, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it will as we go along. So, oh, the only new furniture I am buying is a bed and a bedside table and like a lamp and a mirror. That is literally it. So everything else we are upcycling. So I'm going to upcycle this wardrobe here. Um, my Alex drawers, which is my dressing table. Um, and maybe my dresser. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. But so basically I'm going to be painting this wardrobe, painting the dresser, adding some mouldings to it to make it look prettier and that's really it. Because obviously we didn't want to waste any money by buying new furniture because what's the point when we've got furniture we could just make it look prettier. So we did a trip to B&Q and there's a few bits that we bought and I've already started on the wardrobe so I'll show you that now. So this is what I've done with the wardrobe so far. I've taken out all the drawers and taken all the handles which are these off the drawers and I've emptied the wardrobe as well. There's just a few bits in there but that is it. So the wardrobe is like a really good size. It is huge and what I've decided to do with these drawers is I'm going to sand it 
and then we're going to paint it and then we've got these mouldings which I've seen a few people do where like you stick it onto there paint over it and it looks quite cool so that's what I'm going to try and do <laughs> so yeah and also we ordered my bed and it said it was going to take 12 days to deliver so I thought 12 days that's brilliant I can do the furniture and the walls in 12 days and then the bed will be ready to come in but no it's coming on wednesday and it's currently sunday and the carpet hasn't been done it's not been painted the furniture hasn't been done so i don't know what we're going to do with the bed i am now going to masking tape around everything and um because that's all i really can do i'm just waiting for my dad to bring home the sander because he's got an electric sander and i want to do all the furniture before i do the walls because if i sand it will just make a big mess so yeah catch up with you later i have masking tapes around all the edges except for behind the wardrobe because i tried to move it and i'm scared i'm gonna break it <laughs> And I think I've done under there actually. And I've done all around here. I've not done around there because the ladders are downstairs and I need my dad to help me bring them up. But yeah. I think I'm actually going to start painting the sides, like the edges of the walls. Because I'm bored. And I've got painted into my painting clothes. And these ugly trousers. And I'm just going to start painting around the edges. Like I know my dad's... My dad did say don't start painting until after you've done the sanding of the furniture because it's going to make a mess, but it's fine. We will just <laughs> paint. <laughs> I'm just bored and they're going to take a while before they come back, so I'm going to just start painting. I've now done the outline of everywhere I possibly can at the minute anyway. And I've done here as well. It is very white, <laughs> which I am a bit scared of because I don't want it to look sterile. Like I want it to look bright, but I don't want it to look Whoa. And it is very white, but it's fine. It's fine, we can just add color by hanging things, I guess. Welcome to day two of trying to make this room pretty. <laughs> so i'll show you what i did last night it's, i can't remember what i last vlogged but it'd probably be very different to this so my dad helped me um just take off the doors because i didn't know how to do that and then i filled in you can see all this white stuff i'm not very good at this so don't come for me but i filled in the little like nail holes um and then i'm gonna sand it today just so it's all like smooth for when I paint it and then we also took down the big desk that was here um, that was very stressful because it basically fell apart and my dad blamed me even though I didn't build it because I would have probably about six when it got built but yes it's fine um, so yeah this is what we're working with at the moment I put all the tools and stuff inside the wardrobe just to get it out of the way because um things were just on top of each other and i was knocking things over and i was just being annoying so that's that and then i also started filling in the little holes from where the guitar stands were so i've done that one and then i haven't done them ones because i need a ladder for them and that's downstairs and i need help bringing that up so and also we <laughs> so much things happened last night I painted this and obviously it's dry and me and my dad were talking about it and it's just too white. I just think that will look really sterile in this room and it won't be warm at all and it would just not be that nice. So I am probably going to go back to B&Q today. I think it closes at 8. I need to work quick because um we have viewings every weekend and obviously the house can't this room can't look like this for a viewing so i need to work quick <laughs> i need by um friday next week i need the room to be ready to be carpeted so everything painted all the furniture painted and carpet ready so fingers crossed and i also need to do a lot of work like uni work so <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna go but fingers crossed 
so i have done nothing on the room today um i have done started doing my wardrobe but i'm doing a completely different video for that one um just because some people might not want to watch why how i do my whole wardrobe it's gonna be long anyway so the wardrobe is looking really really good so the video that video will be up before this video so if you want to see what the wardrobe looks like go watch that video but i have i had to go to b and q to get a new paint for the walls because the paint we've got right now is called brilliant white it's just too white it's whiter than the skirting board it's like it's just way too white so this is called north pole and it was i looked at it compared to the white and it was just warmer and a bit more muted and a bit nicer really and i've had the windows open all day so there's so many flies on the walls but yeah i'm gonna go have dinner because it is currently eight o'clock and then i'm going to probably come back and just do the edges go over this because you're not the color that i want thanks i've had dinner and i have now painted this room like the outer bits i've been like chewing on my lip or like licking my lip all day and it's really sore which is brilliant um but i prefer the color so much more you really won't be able to tell like it just looks white it's such a warm white like before it was just like a really really cold white but now it's warm welcome to day three i think to trying to make this room pretty i have just finished i think the third coat on the wardrobe it needs one more coat hopefully and then it should be fine the rug has arrived <laughs> And I have um, persuaded my mum, well I haven't persuaded her, I just basically said that because there may be some paint stains on the carpet upstairs, because we're getting rid of it anyway, but we have a viewing on Thursday, so said why don't we put the rug over the paint stains and she said yes and that means I can open it and see what it's like. So this was actually a really good deal, it was like pretty sure it was 40 pound and for a rug that is really cheap for this size like you can pay like hundreds of pounds for a big rug let me like my rug that i have at uni was 30 pound from facebook marketplace and it's huge so that's second hand this is brand new okay so it is all out shall i put it on the floor do you think yeah Ooh. We'll roll her out. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm really excited now. Woo! So we've started painting and we painted two walls white and it looks very, very white. So I knit back to B&Q for like the 10th time in this week <laughs> and I got um, a beige and it's a lighter beige than some of the furniture but it's nice and yeah so we're just painting that now and the first coat should be done today and then we'll do the second coat tomorrow and then it will be done how exciting good morning I don't think I vlogged that much yesterday I didn't vlog anything in the room because I left my camera downstairs so I will give you a lot got done yesterday, like a lot. Um, I will show you. Both walls are now painted white. There's just the top bits and this wooden bit. It still needs to be painted white. I just can't reach up there. And then this wall got painted beige. I think I told you that um, I decided to paint these two walls beige and these two walls white. Just because all of that, like all of this white, I think would just look really cold. And my wardrobe is white, so 
and it's going here so i think it just blend in and it wouldn't look as good my mum was angry at me oh god i just stood on a pole because this is the difference between the two colors so this is the colour that was already here and this is the new colour. There is a slight difference and in my opinion it makes like such a difference because this is just like a beige with like brown undertones and this is like a beige with pink undertones and I don't want my room, you see you can see the difference there. I don't want like a pink room and I just think this is just so much like too pink. And I just love the base so much. I love the colour. My wardrobe is nearly done. You will see the finished products of that. But if you want to see how I did that, go check out my video before. We did make a little discovery. My dad already knew this, but we didn't. <laughs> um, that under here is this beautiful wood um, that we could leave. Because like, we're getting a new carpet. Obviously, this carpet's so, like, gross. Um, so we could just pull up the carpet and leave that wood. But the only thing is, this room is above the dining room. And when you're in the dining room, you can hear everything that's in this room. And when you're in this room, you can hear everyone in the dining room. And that's with the carpet down. So I think when the carpet's up, it'll just be so loud. So it is actually just gone night. So... Um, I think I'm gonna get, I think we're gonna get this started soon. I just need to sand the uh, poly filler I put in and then we can paint this wall beige. This wall doesn't need another coat, it's fine, but the two whites just need one more coat. And then my dad is home tomorrow and he will go around and do all that. Today we're also going to be painting the skirting boards because as you can see, this is the white and this is the skirting board. So before we did, before this room got painted this color, it was like a cream. So the color of the skirting boards like looked in place. But now it's a white, like it just, they just look really dirty for no reason. So I've got um, wood paint anyway, which I painted this with. So we're going to try and paint that today as well. It is a few hours later and the room is done. There is just um, the outline left to do, which I'm leaving for my dad tomorrow because I can't reach. And then this needs to be painted white but again i can only reach to a certain point so i'm just leaving that for my dad but i'll show you around this wall is done there's just the top again need painting and that wall then it moves on to the white and the top just needs painting but yeah i've done the skirting boards they look so much better because they were like a manky yellow before i've done the windowsill and then yeah i just need to paint this mirror and my dresser and then i'm officially done for all the painting uh, for now <laughs> but yes i am now going to sand the mirror prime it and maybe paint it before i need to go out and then i will get the dresser in and start on that because the dresser needs to be done by saturday and today's thursday and it's got a lot of work that needs to be done to it. Well, it's not too much, but it's time consuming. So I need to really get that started as soon as possible. But I'm questioning whether I can get it in here by myself. I'm hoping I can. Should be able to. But yeah, that's the room update so far. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks so nice. Yay! It is a month, maybe two months later. Um, a lot has happened <laughs> since I last filmed anything. I genuinely have no idea what I last filmed. Um, I couldn't tell you. But the room is now done. <laughs> Finally, excuse my nails, I literally have two left on but um 
I was just waiting for my dad to put up a picture and put some handles on my drawers that I did up. I will actually include some of the footage of me doing up them drawers because there isn't enough footage for it to be a whole video and I don't really see why it needs to be. So I will include some footage now of me doing that. These are the dresser that I'm thinking of um, upcycling as well. So um, I'm thinking of painting this inner part, the beige colour that I'll be painting them drawers as well. And then getting white handles for these and then just re... Um, I don't know whether to repaint this because look how like busted it is it's got some stuff coming off and here because these are second hand so i don't know whether to repaint them i might do i don't know we'll see she is all nice and sanded <laughs> to the extent of which i can and i put a dust sheet underneath just because i know we're getting rid of this carpet but i don't want to make a mess <laughs> and then they are fully finished now and now i will show you the after so this is the drawers now handles are finally on they took so long for my dad to do them this one's a bit wonky but it's fine well we can live but yeah i really really enjoy it it's so much nicer than what it was before like a cream and um, let me see if you can yeah you can oh well, you can't really see on the camera maybe yeah no, you can't really see, but it's like a yellow, and then it goes to, this is a white now. So yeah, I, I love them so much, and I'm very happy that I finally <laughs> got them finished. Okay, so now it's time for the big reveal of the entire room. Which, honestly, my favourite room ever. I am always in this room. I honestly love it so much. It's so bright in here, which also helps because um, it just makes my mood 10 times better. And I genuinely don't think I've ever loved a room this much. And it's really, really sad because we might be moving out at the end of next month. Which is so annoying because I love this room so much. But it's fine, we can... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to be very sad to leave this room, but it's okay. I can live. But I will now show you the before of this room. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what it looks like. But yeah, so this is the before. Obviously very gross and brown and just literally had no life in it. I'm now going to show you the after. So this is the room, excuse my daddy. So we've got my new bed. It doesn't feel new anymore because obviously I've had it for two months. But I honestly love it. it is, this mattress is insanely comfy. Only thing is these duvet sheets, which I got from Amazon, uh, they like catch hair really easily and obviously I've got a dog so her hair is always on them. <laughs> I'll give you what this looks like. I need to put some I need to put some pictures in them picture frames. But all my pictures are at uni so I need to go get them. This is what this looks like. I love these shells from B and M. And then, I love this rug so much, it's so pretty, but look, like it creases, it is the most <laughs> annoying thing, because I think it was quite cheap, it was like £40, for like a rug this size is really cheap, so it's really thin, and it just, <laughs> you can tell, it just creases, it's the most annoying thing, but it's fine, we can live, it's really cute, I do love the rug. And then, let me just address this this was this is new <laughs> this is my hamster's <laughs> cage um he honestly loves it i upgraded his cage because i'm going back to halls next year and i cannot bring darren with me so i thought 
well if he's not with me he gets a bigger cage because he gets to have more fun <laughs> in a bigger cage because I would have felt bad if he was just stuck in his cage but it's fine my parents will be looking after him so yeah it does take up <laughs> the entire room but it's fine like I can't even open my door properly but it's fine okay it's fine We've got my bedside table. Excuse all these wires down here. Just pretend that's not there. Um, same handles as them, so the handles match. There is, if I was to redo this, I would get a bigger lamp because the lamp just looks stupid that small, and some probably decorations to go in here. But we might be moving, and I really don't see the point of decorating something that I may not even be able to keep. Like I don't know. My new room is going to be 10 times smaller than this room, so I don't even know if a bedside table will fit, but it's okay. So obviously, I've never had a bedside table before, so I absolutely am obsessed with having this, because I can obviously put all my stuff in the drawers, and it's just so handy. And then, we go to my new dressing table. So again, we've got the shelves here all these paintings so them them and them i did um they were really really easy that's just that you know what people do with poly filler where they just scrape on i did it with paint with acrylic paint and i am honestly obsessed like i love it so much uh, my theme in this room was beige white and lilac so i they're off i wanted to get some lilac pillows and a lilac throw which i still need to get um but there are just some little pops of lilac around the room like there um i'm trying <laughs> so yeah this is my dressing table if you haven't seen the video where i do this up go check it out obviously these weren't on here this was just a drawer I added all the mouldings on and painted it which they painted it same color as this so it kind of matches and yeah I also cut this um, dressing table down by a lot it actually came up to here so when I didn't have my bedside table that just came up to there and even though a nice a big desk is nice it's unnecessary <laughs> so yeah i like and then i got these curtains from facebook marketplace literally two pound um again i need to put a frame in that a frame a picture in that and my new plant and there's my other new plant so that was actually here but it got too big because she's growing queen um, and then we've got my, oh, I love this mirror so much. It is genuinely giant. It is like seven foot. And for a reference, I am five foot two, five foot three. And look how much space. I honestly love it. Like, it's huge. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, this is from Wix. It is a wardrobe um, door. I saw it on TikTok and I thought, I'm getting that. It was only £70 compared to Ikea, which is 90 for a um, mirror that isn't even this big. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love. It opens up the room so much and yeah, love it. And then, last but not least, we've got my wardrobe um if you haven't seen that video either this is probably the piece that's had the biggest transformation it looks completely different but i honestly love it i love the wooden handles i think they're so cute and then i added the moldings around the drawers and then i obviously painted it all white and i love it and then obviously my drawers which you saw before so, I will just give you a quick overview again. Honestly, to me, this feels like a hotel. Like, it's so pretty. And I love up here. One thing I hate about this room, my new room, is the amount of wasps 
that come in here i will literally shut the door like have this shut when i'm sleeping and there'll be a wasp in here and i'll be like when i wake up and i'll be like where the hell has that wasp come from because it literally comes out of nowhere and i do not understand it it is the most annoying thing ever i'll literally just be sat at my desk doing work or sat in bed and there'll be a wasp and i'll be like why <laughs> and i do have a skylight if you can see it there um and it does open but i'm not tall enough to open it even on a chair which is the most annoying thing ever so i just have to stand here until the wasp goes to the window and i open the window but yeah that is one annoying thing about this room but everything else i love it so much i have um my bathroom out there is literally there can you see that is a bathroom <laughs> that dark what um entryway is my bathroom so i literally just go out it's like an ensuite and i'm furthest from like me and my parents on literal different sides of the house so i don't hear them they don't hear me i just love it so much and the high ceilings just make this room like honestly make it but yeah <clears throat> I really really enjoyed designing and putting together this room I love it so much I'm so happy I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and yeah I will see you in the next video